Good morning, brothers and sisters. This morning I want to, well, I want to brag a little bit on this amazing parish that we have here at Epiphany. There are any number of things that I love dearly about what God is doing here. Uh, but this morning I want to just talk about uh, one in particular, and that is our music program. We are abundantly blessed at Epiphany to have uh, a huge, huge breadth of different and complementary musical skill sets, all of which are, are offered up to God's glory to help us in our worship. I also uh, really love the fact that you all have embraced this, this online world that we have here in the comments that you use uh, throughout all of the ministry that we do, whether it's the daily live stream, supper song and praise, faith matters, even during the worship service uh, on Sunday morning and then especially in the coffee hour, you all have gotten very comfortable in sharing with one another and, and with us what you're thinking. And sometimes that actually takes on a whole different direction than we expected it to. Case in point, on Sunday, while we were doing our virtual coffee hour, we were talking about a number of different things. And I noticed that through the comments, there was a whole lot of conversation about different types of praise music, some gospel music, finding ways to, to really highlight some of the amazing African-American music that's out there, and that worked its way into a conversation that said, you know, funny you should ask that. The Episcopal Church actually has a resource called Lift Every Voice and Sing, but we don't have it here at, uh, at Epiphany because we just, well, we haven't gotten around to buying the books, and, uh, and that started a huge groundswell. People were, were pledging money, people were going on Amazon and buying books, and well, I have in my hand right here, and I know to you it's backwards, my apologies, this is a copy of Lift Every Voice and Sing. And so, since this was something that everybody was really excited about, I thought that uh, it made some sense to talk a little bit about it on one of the live streams. This is, this is an amazing resource from a musical standpoint, because not only does it bring a, a, an amazing array of of gospel music, uh, African-American spirituals, but it also brings uh, some sort of uh, forgotten Protestant-style hymns to the table. This is really a great resource. So while there are settings of things like Amazing Grace and Away in a Manger, there are also other amazing things in here. Um, Give Me a Clean Heart, Glory, Hallelujah, in my life, Lord, be glorified. In the garden, I come to the garden alone. Oh, such great stuff. Some great spirituals. Ain't of that good news? There are some wonderful settings of, of Jesus loves the little children. Oh, that one just makes my heart sing. The old rugged cross. Who doesn't love that hymn? In addition to all that, though, there is some really amazing service music. Now, you're wondering, hmm, I, I wonder what that, what he just said. Maybe I'm afraid to ask, though. Service music just means the music that we use during the service. It's things like the Sanctus, the Holy, Holy, Holy. It's, uh, it's things like uh, Amen, wonderful responses to that. Uh, it's, it's things like the, the memorial acclamation, Christ has died, Christ is risen, Christ will come again. There are some amazing settings in here, and actually we've been the beneficiary of some of this because while we're in COVID, the Episcopal Church, the Church Publishing Corporation, who owns the rights to this, uh, they lifted all of their copyright restrictions through the beginning of 21. And so some of the service music we were doing in Advent actually came from this wonderful resource, Lift Every Voice and Sing. Uh, there is some just great, great stuff in here. And so if you are feeling called to, and if you would like to see us even further expand the depth and breadth of our musical offerings here at Epiphany, you too can participate. All it takes is either 
going on Amazon and buying one or two or ten of these, or you can simply write a check, send it in the mail, and mark Levis, L-E-V-A-S, which stands for Lift Every Voice and Sing. Send it to us, go on our website, use our PayPal, however you want to do it. We need to get realistically about 30 copies of this before we feel like we've got, uh, we own enough to be justified in using the music uh, as part of our service. And we're well on our way. Uh, I know that Carol Wagers, for example, jumped all over this and uh, she went out and bought a number of copies and I believe she's actually dropped them off. It's, uh, it's a wonderful blessing. I know some other folks have been sending some money and taking care of it that way. Uh, believe me, Kathy Steinbrenner is all excited about this, and she's got everybody sort of spun up. Uh, Roger will love this because there's some great, great settings that we can use for supper song and praise in this. It's just, uh, it's just a really good resource. So, commercial ended, um, but I thought it was important to talk about because how we worship and the resources we use to worship say a lot about who we are as a people and our ability to come together and, and praise God in new ways that, that touch us. We use the old familiar and yet we do it in a new way so that we can, well, we can think of it differently and sometimes that reacts to us a little bit differently. So, if, uh, if Levis is something that is on your heart and you want to help us get there, wonderful. And we will continue to provide as much of a, a depth and breadth of offering in our worship as we can, both liturgically as well as musically. All right, that's what I have for you. God love you. God bless you. We'll talk tomorrow.